Hi guys, thanks for joining us and welcome to this week's episode of 90 Second Gospel. So this Sunday is a big feast, it's a solemnity and that is Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. It's a really, really important day in the church this year when we remember the Eucharist and the great importance that the Eucharist has in our lives. And this Sunday's Gospel helps us to unpack a little bit of our understanding about that. It comes from Mark's Gospel. Uh, this scripture reference uh, is on the screen now. So if you want to have a read of that, then that would be great. But as usual, I've got 90 seconds to tell you a little bit about today's Gospel, what it means for you, and how you can live it out in your life today. So let's go. So this Sunday's Gospel, we're remembering the body of Christ. Now, every single time we go to Mass, the priest says some prayers on the altar, and we believe that something called transubstantiation happens. And that means that the bread and wine that start the Mass as those gifts that are brought forward at the offertory are transformed into the body and blood of Jesus. They're not representations of, they're not things that remind us of, they are the body of Christ. And sometimes that's a little bit difficult for us to understand. But today's gospel helps us to do that, helps us to understand it. Whenever Jesus says something in the gospels, it happens. So when Jesus says to the paralyzed man, get up and walk, he gets up and walks. When Jesus tells the storm to calm, the storm calms. When Jesus tells Lazarus, who was dead, to get up and walk out of the tomb, he does. Every time Jesus says something, it happens. And in today's gospel, Jesus says, this is my body. He doesn't say this is like my body. He doesn't say, imagine this is a representation of my body. He says, this is my body. And when Jesus says things, they are true. So when we are at mass and the priest holds up the Eucharist, we know that it really is Jesus' body present there on the altar. So what does that mean for you and me today? Well, hopefully it means that you should see the importance of the Eucharist in your life. Hopefully it means that you will be able to look at the Eucharist in Mass, or maybe when you go into a church and see um, it present in the tabernacle, you'll know that Jesus is truly there with you. And hopefully that will bring you comfort, but it will also enable you to show the reverence that that very, very special gift from Jesus deserves. So I hope this was uh, interesting. I hope you learned a little bit from it. And I hope you have a great week. See you again soon. Goodbye.